Isaiah 33. Woe to thee that spoileth, and thou was not spoiled. Galatians 6 7. And dealest treacherously, and they dwelt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt call, when thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. You reap what you sow. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. So even in the Old Testament, you've got what you sow is what you're going to reap. O Lord, be gracious unto us. We have waited for thee, but that be thou their arm every morning. Our salvation also is in the is in the time of trouble. Daniel twelve one. So one verse. We speak about man men who do wrong. Then we go reaching out to God. At the noise of the tumult, the people fled. At the lifting up of thyself, the nations were scattered. God standing up. When he stood up with uh, Stephen, then he sat back down. He'll get up for the second advent. And he'll scatter the nations, the sheep and the goat nations. And your spoil shall be gathered like the gathering of a caterpillar. Destructive animal when it comes to crops. As the running to and fro of locusts shall he run upon them. Locusts will go and devour everything and anything. The Lord is exalted. For he dwelleth on high. He has filled Zion with judgment and righteousness. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord, is his treasure. See Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. Behold, the valiant one shall cry without. The ambassadors of peace shall weep bitterly. The highways lay waste, no one on them. Destruction. The wayfaring man ceases. He has broken the covenant. He has despised the cities. He regardeth no man. Now you're in trouble. The earth mourneth and fadeth. Language. Lebanon is a shame and hewed down. Lebanon is the place where they got all the trees. Cedar tree. Sharon is like a wilderness. Not much to do with wilderness. Death. And Basha and Carmel shake off their fruits. It's not people picking them, they're all. The fruits are falling without being picked. Rot away. Now will I arise, saith the Lord. Now will I be exalted. Now will I lift up myself. Here he comes. Ye shall conceive chaff, the worthless part of the wheat. Ye shall bring forth stubble, nothing. You can't do nothing with stubble. You can't do nothing with chaff. Your breath as fire should devour you. You're going to you're going to get your own self. Your own actions destroy you. It's not God. The people shall be as the burnings of lime. As thorns cut up, so uh, so as thorns cut up shall they be burned in the fire. Look at that. Uh, chapter 9, verse 8, 10, 17, Hebrews 6, 7, 2 Samuel 23, 2 through 7. Hear ye that are far off when what I have done, and ye that are near, acknowledge my might. You know, those that are far off can't see what happened. Those that are near saw what God can do. The sinners in Zion are afraid. So here comes God. Fearfulness has surprised the hypocrite. You know, they pretend to be godly. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? I guess all those that are righteous. 
when Christ comes with that sword out of his mouth, not everybody is going to be destroyed. Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burning? Who? He that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly. Right? They'll be spared. He that despises the gain of oppression. Oppression. There's a third category. That shaketh his hands from holding a bribe. There's a fourth category. No, I don't want it. No, get away from me. Get that bribe away from me. I'm going to do right. That stoppeth his ears from hearing of blood. Fourth, no murderer. Remember Proverbs 1 said, let us go kill this person. They're called evildoers. And shutteth his eyes from seeing. From seeing. Not doing. From seeing evil. So you want a verse that goes against television and, and theaters and, and videos and CDs. There you go. He shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. Bread shall be given to him. His waters shall be sure. Who is verse 16? The one that walketh righteously, speaketh uprightly, despises the gain and oppressors, that shake his hands from holding bribes. He that stoppeth his ears of hearing blood, and him that shut his eyes from seeing evil. Those are the ones going to be lifted up. So, tribulation, you're going to have unrighteousness. You're going to have people speaking unrightly. You're going to have people who are going to cause oppression. You're going to have people who are full of bribes. You're going to have people murdering. They say they're going to be drinking the blood of the saints. And you're going to have people who are going to be watching evil. Probably be entertainment and tribulation under Satan to watch a, a innocent person get robbed. Probably be entertainment to watch a woman get raped. Probably be entertainment for crimes. Listen, how many people today watch those newscasts with all these riots that have been happening and they just sit there and watch it and they don't do nothing about it? They sit there and watch. Thine eyes shall see the king in his beauty. Look at that. Who? The ones of verse 15. It's the king. It's the Lord Jesus Christ coming. But I shall see the king in his beauty. The Bible says the first advent, he didn't come in beauty. But wait till he comes back. They shall behold the, the land that is very far off. What land? Jerusalem. <clears throat> very far off. Where are they? They're in Sale of Petra. Thy heart shall meditate terror. Where is the scribe? Gone. Where is the receiver? Gone. Where is he that counted the towers? Gone. The scribe, is, he, he wrote things. The receiver, he received things. He counted, you know, made, made note of what, what, what needs to be had. Thou shalt not see a fierce people. A people of deeper speech than thou canst perceive, of a stammering tongue that thou canst not understand. And we read the other night that he's going to take care of those that are blind, that, that speak stammering. Look unto Zion, the city of our Solomonimines. Thy eyes shall see Jerusalem, a quiet habitation. It's not today because there's a will and woe over there right now. They go and weep and pray. A tabernacle that shall not be taken down. Jerusalem is a, a, is a heap. It's a mess. The temple is going to be there. Not one of the stakes thereof shall be ever be removed. That's a tent. Neither shall any of the cords thereof be broken. Imagine having a tent that's not going to break down. Well, I, well, I guess in the millennium, nothing's going to be made in America. Because these tents are going to withstand anything. 
It's an unusual tent. You get rain and you get wind and all that, you got to fix the tent. You know what Paul did in his lifetime? He was a tent maker. I would assume he would have to make new tents or fix the old ones. But there the glorious Lord will be with us, Israel, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, so there goes the Jehovah Witnesses, a place of broad rivers and streams, life, fishing, wherein shall go no galley with oars, neither shall gallant ships pass thereby, will be no shipping on this water. For the Lord is our judge. You better do right, or you go jump in the lake. The Lord is our lawgiver. So they won't be saying we're Moses' disciples. Moses gave the law, but the Lord gave it to Moses. If you read the Bible and you read it correctly, who wrote it on the tables of stone? Moses? No, he sat back and watched it. God wrote the law. Moses was just a carrier. The Lord is our king. Can you, can you say that is today? No. We have no king but who? So who's running around in Jerusalem today? Rome. He will save us. Now go ask any Jewish person today. They won't say they're saved. Thy tacklings are loose. Talking about ships. They could not well strengthen their mast. Ships. They could not spread the, t the sail. Then is the prey of a great spoil divided. The lame take the prey. You know, the ship's broken up. And the weak one. And the inhabitant shall not say, I am sick. The people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. Well, look at that. I, he shall not say I am sick. So, if the millennium is work, you're not going to have anybody calling out sick. You can't say I am sick. So, today some people may not like the millennium because they call out sick. You can't say, oh, I can't go serve the Lord today. I, I, I'm not feeling well. You can't say that. 